Welcome back to For the Love of Suits, where we get inspiration from the best dressed men on the screen. Most of you are lamenting, summer is here, it's shorts and t-shirts from now on. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can dress sharp, you can even wear suits in the summer, but there's a few tricks you need to know. So we're getting some cinematic inspiration from India with Robert Pattinson in Tenet, the Mediterranean with Jude Law in The Talented Mr. Ripley, and Africa with Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca, as well as many others. And I'm well qualified to talk on the subject. I've worn suits through many summers in Shanghai, where it hits over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 97% humidity. And while there are many other aspects to wearing a suit in hot weather, I'm writing a book on the subject right now. This video is going to focus on the fabrics and the suits, but I'll try and drop in a few tips as we go along. Ralph Fiennes and Julian Wadham in The English Patient, though wearing very different fabrics and styles of suits, have one thing in common. They are not wearing ideal suits for the climate. The padded shoulders in particular will only make them hotter, but it's indicative of their British background. And though they do venture out into the city, they follow one of the most important rules of dressing well in the heat, which is simply stay indoors as much as possible. Fine suit seems to be cotton with notch lapels and a better choice for an Egypt with no air conditioning. Wadham is wearing what looks like a quite heavy wool fabric and a double-breasted suit too. The basic rule is the less fabric the better. Wool is actually a very suitable fabric for clothes in hot weather and it is very good at regulating body temperature, keeping you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. But of course you can't wear a woolly sweater in the heat. There are many variants available from tailors, from Fresco to Eco Traveler from Holland and Sherry. They are high twist open weave fabrics, which means the yarn is quite stiff and allows the fabric to be loosely woven with holes to let the heat and air pass through. They both wear white cotton shirts. White is a good choice for the summer. It looks light and breezy and clean. Of course, it's important to find a lightweight shirt, especially for the heat. An OCBD will have you sweating up a storm. And of course, they loosen up their ties when they head outdoors, which is a good look and one apparently appreciated by many women. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button. It helps bring this video to the attention of other menswear enthusiasts. Thanks. I see so many comments on menswear channels stating, I just can't wear suits. I live in India and it's just too hot. But these next gentlemen can, and they pull it off with style. In the movie Tenet, see my full review here, these two spies have a very clandestine meeting in a Mumbai bar. The main character, known only as the protagonist, wears a pink tinted cream suit with a linen silk blend. You can see the coarseness of the weave which allows the air to pass through, making it wearable and bearable in hot weather. Underneath he has a cream knit polo, an excellent choice for dealing with both heat and sweat. It's sharper than a t-shirt and it will protect the inside collar of the jacket by remaining casual and cool. His fellow spy Neil, played by Robert Pattinson, is dressed in a classic expat ecru linen suit. Although I prefer an open weave suit in the hot weather, you have to have at least one linen suit if you live in a hot climate. It's an individualistic fabric with character woven into its very yarn. The creases that develop might not suit everyone's style, but it's unmistakable. Neil, who presumably lives locally, has adapted a very loose and loose style with undone cuffs and a necktie with a sagging knot. He has a white linen shirt, always a good choice for a hot climate, as long as you keep it clean. He exemplifies how to pull off a suit with all the attitude of a man wearing jeans and t-shirt. I have visited quite a bit of America over the years, even spending two college summers there, but I have never been to Miami. However, I get the impression that the weather is similar to Shanghai. Hot and muggy. So who better to show us how to dress than Crockett and Tubbs? Crockett, played by Colin Farrell, has on a light grey cotton suit with a very lightweight white cotton shirt. It's a good choice, but I find the fit of this suit a bit questionable. A summer suit would normally be cut a little more generously than usual to make it more breathable, so it would appear a little looser, but not by much. The shoulders on this jacket in particular remind me of the musician David Byrne in the movie Stop Making Sense. It's almost comical. I guess they're alluding to his 1980s origin with the shoulder pads, but it's a look best forgotten. And he is outshone by Jamie Foxx for style points. His suit is a heavily textured weave of linen and silk. Silk is usually about 15% of this type of fabric, often found in a summer suit. The linen is for breathability, and though silk is not breathable, it is cold to the touch and gives the linen some weight so it drapes better. The two look great together like, oh, I don't know, some, some kind of cop buddy duo? Dark fabrics absorb more heat than light ones, so you might be persuaded to avoid them in the summer, but my advice is stay out of direct sunlight anyway. Stick to the shade and the indoors. Of course, sometimes you just have to take your jacket off. The weather can be too much for a full suit, but you might feel a little exposed in just a shirt. After all, they were considered underwear once. 
so it's a good idea to consider some kind of embellishment and here we have two perfect ways to be a cut above the rest. A classic pair of braces really adds class to an outfit and shows forethought if you have to remove the jacket. You don't need to have pants specially made for them and you can wear good quality clip-on braces and they will look fine, but just remember never, never wear braces and a belt together. Leo wears them well, but I have no comment on his pink suit other than it was a different time. Toby Maguire settled on a vest for his stepped up look. I would not recommend wearing a three piece suit in the heat no matter what the fabric is. I had a three piece linen suit figuring I would wear the vest alone when the weather got too hot for a jacket, but it turned out the opposite was true, certainly in humid weather. A loose fitting jacket will make you sweat a lot less than a tight fitting vest. However, if it's a dry heat, you might be okay and you could look very stylish like Toby. Matching it with a button down shirt gives the outfit a casual appearance which is a nice touch for the summer. In the talented Mr Ripley, Dickie, Jude Law plays the prey for Tom Ripley's scheme. But murder aside, the location is the beautiful Amalfi Coast, the Italian version of the Riviera on the Mediterranean. And the period setting is a fabulous display of how to wear old money style in the heat. And I recommend watching the entire movie for a very inspirational summer wardrobe. And you can see my full review of the movie here. In this scene, we see Dickie arriving late to his girlfriend's house with a masterful sorry delivered with ease and a kiss. A good lesson for any gentleman. This is definitely Dickie's way, keeping it light, and he does so just as well with his wardrobe as his apologies. He is wearing a light black linen shirt with a few buttons undone, a pair of light beige chinos and white loafers, perfect for the environment, and carrying a linen silk blend jacket with a fabulous slub, that is the rough parts of the yarn showing little small knots on the fabric. Later he puts on the jacket while walking around town and does up a couple of buttons on the shirt looking smart but still being able to handle the heat. The dark shirt and jacket and light pants combination works well and is also a favourite casual look of Daniel Craig's Bond. So I'm really pleased with the small community we have here. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll be able to keep the style breakdowns coming. I have to confess I haven't actually seen the next movie, A Good Year, starring Russell Crowe, but I picked out this scene with Tom Hollander on a vineyard in Provence, France. If you're not familiar with Tom Hollander's name, I'm sure you recognise his face. He's one of those he's in everything actors. And although he has a shirt and a tie on, he loosens the knot for comfort. Crowe has gone for another classic, ecru linen pants and white linen shirt, but also has a vest underneath. I'm not a fan of wearing a vest in hot weather, and although it may absorb sweat, I think it just promotes even more sweat, especially in humid climate. He also throws on a striking pinstripe blazer. It's quite a statement piece, but he pulls it off well. So in Shanghai in the summer, inside the malls can be extremely cold. So conversely, you might actually put your jacket on when you go indoors. So either way, it's a good idea to take a jacket with you and carry it when you need to. So do you live in a hot climate or are you planning to visit one for your vacation? Have any of these gentlemen persuaded you to sharpen up your wardrobe? Leave a comment on any of your experience or your opinions. And I'll see you in the next video.